Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Exciting day today, guys. Haven't been able to get this for a long time. I'm finally happy to get version two. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so it's been about eight months since I was able to get a pair of these. And the last time I was able to get one, it was yellow and orange. Hey, John, how's it going, buddy? Good morning. How's it going, guys? You are. Thank, Thank you. you. That's John from the optical place. He, he usually gets here later than me. So the UPS man, Elliot, usually leaves his package here. So... We're, we're great neighbors, so we hang on to the package until he gets here on his bike. Then I hand it to him so that it makes everybody happy, you know, like a good neighbor, you know, tennis pin is there. Anyways, speaking of good neighbor, uh, my best friend every morning is this dark roast from Pete's Major Dickinson today. He's not my favorite, but it's their staple. Mm. Ah, just to wake me up a little bit. Okay. You want to buy me a coffee? Network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Thank you so much in advance for those of you who've contributed to my dark roast coffee habit. And for those of you who will and might consider, I thank you for even thinking of it. Okay. Um, shoes. Back to my rainbow unicorn colored shoes that was version one. Um, those were great. Unfortunately, I wore them out already, so I had to go to other shoes while playing. Uh, my buddy Murph said, hey, they got the second version. Fresh Foam Lav 2 is out now. And Murph was like, go check it out. They're great. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I didn't even know about it. Murph is my my shoe guy. Um, I, I turned them on to these and then he kind of turned them back on to me on these. So this was the color that I chose. Don't ask me why. It was either this or some other color that was a little more crazy, um, or white, which I wasn't, which I wasn't really fond of, but this looks kind of wilder than I thought it would. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like Twizzlers in a way or some kind of candy. Oh, Laffy Taffy. That's what it reminds me of when I looked at this. I'm like, this looks like something familiar. This is Laffy Taffy, guys. That purple with the blue. So they, they actually made some changes um, now that I'm looking at the shoe. No more um, Una, Una No Tongue. Una No Tongue. So it's it's a detached tongue now that you don't have to slam your foot in anymore. Um, so, okay, interesting. I kind of like that, but it was hard to get in and out of. Uh, looks like that sits a little higher back here. It kind of reminds me of that Nike Turbo. The foam thing looks a little different now too in the back. Um, if my buddy Murph likes this, then this is probably going to be really good. All right, let's go check it out. This is a size 11. In that last version, I got an 11 because it was hard for me to get my foot in, and I was afraid that it wasn't long enough. So hopefully, I didn't get too big of a size. All right, let's go hit the scale, weigh this up. All right, so on the scale, at the scale, I'm not getting on the scale. You guys don't want to know anyways. All right, right shoe, 413.5 on a size 11. As you guys always know, I want to throw my shoe on there just to see what it weighs too. I'm going to throw it sideways. My shoe weighs more on a 10 and a half. So 426, excuse me, 425.5. Okay. Oh. Yes. Interesting. 
and it's not too long, but easily to get into. Laces are a little long. Huh. That's good. Okay. 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 Wow. A little high, high off the ground for sure. Good cushioning in the front. Easy to flex. My heel is not dropping when I do this. So it actually is not stiff out of the box. I would probably say these are ready to go right now. Um, pushes me in a little bit as a lot of these shoes do. As you can see, I'm kind of going inwards a little bit. But that's okay though. Remember what I told you? We're never gonna run this way like this too much. We're gonna be pushing outwards more like that. Arch is very neutral. That arch is very neutral. It feels familiar. It feels familiar, which is a good thing. I'll put the other one on. Lacing is good. Laces are solid for once on a lot of these shoes. They're not. Mm. Okay. Whoa. Definitely feel it on the left foot. Nice and I feel like I'm high off the ground. I feel like there's definitely cushioning. Woo. I can't wait to play in these. Woo. Finally, some support, some cushion. I feel like, I feel like I'm in a ski boot but cushion ski boot that's flexible. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go try them. I'm gonna go run around the court, hopefully, and not break my neck. Right, guys so my final thoughts of the new balance lab fresh foam two i love this shoe this is a great shoe i mean compared to the first one it's definitely more stable i think it's got a slightly wider base maybe a slightly firmer base from what i can feel there's definitely a ton of cushion in this thing um, I love cushion. I need cushion for my feet, for my knees, for my hips. Um, it actually has great stability. You're, I'm, I'm super sure footed with this shoe. So I'm pretty confident wearing this thing. Um, I would definitely deem this, you know, maybe the shoe of the year right now. It took them a while to come out with this thing. So, um, I'm glad that they finally have these in stock. If you guys are in the market for a shoe, um, I know there's a shoe shortage out there. So this is definitely on your radar to at least try. You will love the comfort, the fit, and definitely the cushion. Um, as I was telling you in the beginning of this video, this is a little taller and it's a little firmer. And there is a tongue now. So for those of you who had a hard time getting into Fresh Foam, Lab Fresh Foam 1, you will not have a problem now. It's actually real easy to get into. Um, the only thing is in that first generation, once you get in, you're locked down. You're ready to go. These you actually have to lace up, which I know a lot of you like to do. You just lace it up a little tighter and, and you're ready to go. These run real true to size. So I'm usually a 10 and a half to an 11. I, in the old generation, I wore an 11. I chose 11 again, just in case. And I'm glad I did that because I needed that 11. So true to size, guys. This also comes in a 2E. So for those of you who have slightly wider feet, maybe that bunion bothers you. Uh, there is a firmer piece here for that bunion, but I think it may work for you. It may, it may, um, give it a shot. Okay. So 2E, like my buddy Murph, uh, who teaches 12 hours a day, shout out to my buddy Murph for telling me about these being in stock, um, comes in this 
rainbow bright my little pony color as well as white new balance lav fresh foam two definitely check it out it could be the shoe of the year in my opinion all right thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis